Yes, we are still in Luke chapter 6. So if you looked at the title and you've been paying attention, you're like, Brad, this is the third week you've had something in Luke chapter 6. Yes, I know we're still here, but Jesus said a lot in Luke chapter 6. And so I, I want to keep looking at it. Um, also, next Wednesday, so one week from the day this posts, will be our last of these videos because we are relaunching our student ministry on Sunday, September 20th during the 11 a.m. service. It's going to be a good time. I hope you're going to come join us. Uh, we're going to worship together in our main auditorium, and then we're going to head over to the chapel and, and spend some time together for a little bit. But I'm excited for it. It's going to be a lot of fun, um, and, I, and I, I, I truly hope you're going to come make plans to, uh, to hang out with us. It's going to be cool. So um, I uh, hope to see you there, but in the meantime, we're going to continue looking at what Jesus had to say in Luke chapter 6. And so I want you to read with me verse 37. It says, Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. So Jesus right here is continuing to build on what he said in the rest of, of Luke chapter 6, which is this idea that we need to treat others the way we want to be treated. If you don't like being judged, which I don't know anybody who does, then don't judge people. If you don't like people to condemn you for the things that you've done that are wrong, then don't be condemning others. Uh, if, you, if you like to be forgiven, you need to forgive other people. And if you like people to help you with stuff, you also need to be willing to, to give towards them or help them do things. And one book I read called that the, the great law of the universe, right? That you sow what you reap, you, you give or you get what you put in. And Jesus is saying it works the same way in our relationship with people and, and in following him is that we have to treat others the way we want to be treated. Now, a lot of people quote this verse to say, hey, you know, get off my back, man. You don't have the right to judge me. And, and that, to some extent, is true. But the, what, he's, what he's more so after here is, is that this idea that to follow him really affects our attitudes towards other people. We don't have any room to be arrogant because we're all coming to Jesus at the same spot. So it, it, it's, uh, the question really is, are you always comparing yourself to other people or other people to yourself? If you're always trying to say, well, I'm better than they are, or they might be better than me, so I'm going to work harder, that's, that's not what he's after. No, if, if you want people to treat you a certain way, you need to treat them that way. So if you don't want to be judged, then don't walk around judging the people. It's not your job. It's not your place. If you don't like being condemned, like, oh, you're going to this place, then don't, don't do that. Um, You've got to be responsible for yourself, for the words you say and the things that you do. It absolutely matters that you are responsible for you. And that's what Jesus kind of keeps hitting over and over again here. While he's talking to his disciples, he's talking to a big group of people that are there listening to him um, and other people that are listening. He's not like addressing a church. He's not addressing um, some like, you know, all of Christendom. That's a, that's a weird word to say. He's not addressing like everybody in, in one shot here. He's talking to his disciples and he basically, look, if you're going to follow me, you've got to do life differently. And this is where it starts. Um, so if you have forgotten what we looked at so far, go back and read the first part of Luke chapter six up until these verses and you'll kind of see where Jesus is going in this all is together. Now, remember chapter and verse numbers, all those sort of things, or if your Bible's like mine, where it's got these really cool headings and stuff in it, those were all added after the fact. So if you read it all as one text, it's all one story. We break it up just so it's easier to talk about. But when you get into verse 39, he tells this story. It's a parable. He says, he also told them a parable. Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone when he is fully trained will be like his teacher. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me take out the speck that is in your eye when you yourself do not see the log that is in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take out the speck that is in your brother's eye. So Jesus uses this parable. It's a story, just a, a story with another meaning. He's trying, it's an illustration. Um, and he's trying to get people to understand that um, everything he's really been talking about here. But what he's getting at first is that you can't hide where you are spiritually. If you're blind, if you don't know what you're talking about, and you try to help somebody else in something you don't know what to do, you both are going to fall in the pit. Blind man leads another blind man to the pit. It's just how that goes. And so you can't hide where you are spiritually. If you don't know what you're talking about with your relationship with God, you are not going to help people. If you don't have a relationship with God, you are not going to be able to help people. It's just one of those rules. And, and, and secondly with this is that you will become more like the teacher that you follow. 
You won't become greater than the teacher, but you will become like the teacher you follow. And so he, again, he's talking to disciples. These are people that said, hey, I want to follow you, Jesus. He's just come off the mountain. He's speaking to them. And he says, look, you've got to understand some things. And before you understand those things, you can't start trying to help other people or lead other people in the path they go. You need to have a relationship with God first. You need to have a relationship with me, is what Jesus is saying right there. Um, before any of that happens, you have to deal with the sin that's in your own life. So he uses this illustration again. A lot of people that aren't even Christians talk about this a lot. That uh, you know, well, you've got to, got to like it's like trying to dig a little speck out of, of dirt out of someone's eye when you've got like a stick poking out of yours, right? That's what sin is in our life. And if we're unwilling to deal with the sin in our life, then how are we ever going to help other people deal with the sin that's in theirs? So Jesus again puts this back on the people that are that are listening to him and that are, that are following him. Um, that uh, there's never been any tolerance for hypocrisy. In other words, you can't try to pretend to be something that you're not when it comes to your relationship with God. God sees through that. Other people see through that. And they will call you out on that. If you're like, hey, oh, you know, I I gave that up years ago. You should give that up too, but uh, you're still doing it. That's a problem. Don't be a hypocrite is what Jesus is getting after. Um, He's inviting them to follow him by first confronting their own sins so that they don't become a hypocrite, which everybody hates. That's what's happening here in this passage is that you have to be responsible for you. Now, next week's video, which is our last one, we're going to look at the end of this chapter where it talks about a tree and its fruit and building a house on a rock and some cool stuff. You know, if you remember from little kids, like, wise man build his house upon the rock. Yeah, that that story's here. It's coming next week. We're going to look at that. Um, Take a few minutes. Go back and read Luke chapter 6 today. Like, do it right now because this is a short video. And look at what Jesus has to say and, and see maybe is there anything in your life that you might need to line up with this statement? Are you being responsible for you? Are you dealing with the sin that's in your life? Are you repenting and and looking to follow Jesus in in your life? Um, Are you trying to be some spiritual leader to somebody else when maybe you don't have it together in in the first place? No, you need to follow Jesus first and you need to give up the sin that's in your life first. And that all begins with how you treat other people. So you be responsible for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you Sunday and then we'll see you in person on the 20th, September. It's gonna be cool. See you then.